Pupils and teachers from schools across the country attended a reception in Parliament buildings ahead of the annual BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition. 60 projects from 24 schools entered this year, with 29 projects qualifying for the finals at the RDS in Dublin in January. Sentinus promotes science, technology, engineering and maths to young people right throughout Northern Ireland. The STEM subjects are obviously hugely important for young people and uh, we engage with young people right from P1 right through to post-16. We've actually had a, an, ex, an exhibition stand at BT Young Scientists on a couple of occasions uh, and we actually run a similar competition in Northern Ireland uh, called you know, Sentinus Young Innovators. So there is a synergy between what we do and what uh, BT is trying to do. This is probably the highlight of our year. It's the 51st year of the BT Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition. BT have been sponsoring organisers the last 15 years. Primarily for us it's around the kind of skills that our business needs, not just now but into the future. So there's a lot of talk around STEM agenda, so if you look at science and technology and engineering and maths, a lot of these key skills are skills that actually we need. So when we had that opportunity 15 years ago we were delighted to get involved in the sponsor, as a sponsor. But it's evolved into much more than that and actually it culminated last year in our 50th year. So being a sponsor is important, but actually being the organiser is so different because we end up uh, running the event with 200 of our staff. We bring our customers to the event just to get an insight into everything that goes on. Uh, and we probably put on one of the best shows of its kind in the world. I think the young people make it special. Uh, when you consider, um, there's a lot of talk nowadays about technology and innovation. But one of, the, one of the catchphrases is about sort of encouraging and developing bright minds, bright young minds. Um, when you think of the kind of skills that we need for our kind of business, um, it's only as good as the, the young people that walk in through the RDS. And there's a lot of work that goes on by the young people working with their, their teachers in advance. But when you see the enthusiasm, you see them working together, you see the, you know, the, the innovative ideas that come through, uh, these are the future, uh, this is the future uh, talent and, and, and directors of the future, so I mean that's one of the reasons why it's an incredible platform for us. Well, the reason why we invite students up here to Stormont is because we want to display them how, what the importance we place upon such an event. The BT Young Scientist is one of the highlights of the educational calendar. It gives an opportunity for young people to t take part in the competition in terms of developing their projects, uh, which is vitally important. And if they get through to Dublin, that, that's great, but they shouldn't be disappointed if they're not. They have learnt a lot through the process. Uh, th those students who, who do make it to Dublin will be involved in a major exhibition, uh, competing against uh, other talents from across the island of Ireland, displaying their, their, their works through the STEM subject. So it, it's a great opportunity for young people to develop and hone their skills and develop and hone their interest in STEM subjects. The STEM subjects are the future of our economy, and it gives young people a wide array of opportunities and career paths ways to take a choice from. Uh, when we look as best we can into the future and the development of new jobs, it's clear that they're going to develop in the STEM subjects. So if young people uh, acquire skills within those, acquire confidence within the STEM subjects, then their, their employment opportunities are greatly enhanced. And also our economy is greatly enhanced because when we're looking at foreign direct investment or indeed our own indigenous industries, STEM are crucial to them. So if we want to grow our economy, we need to give our young people the opportunity through STEM subjects. Congratulations to all of the students and schools who entered and qualified for the competition this year. We wish you the best of luck in January.